Hey you guys, welcome back. So great to have you. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about praying in the spirit. I've learned that it's quite different from speaking in tongues. Understand that the prayer language that you have with the Lord is praying in the spirit. So for example, whenever you are, um, you bow your head to pray and you begin praying, you can, when you receive the, the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you can receive the evidence of speaking in tongues or the prayer language, if you will. So the prayer language part is where you speak like the words that the Holy Spirit that abides in you is speaking out and praying on your behalf. Now this isn't oh, something that is like open for interpretation in church. A lot of people understand praying in the spirit or speaking in tongues actually. Whenever you are given a message and you're at church, you're given a message, you speak in tongues and then there's an interpreter in church. Someone else will be given the interpretation and they stand up and they give their interpretation. If you're not, if you don't have an interpreter, if you know that this is not something that is of God as far as needing interpretation, interpretation, we're supposed to stay silent in the church, okay? There is another which um, is like prayer language where you are, um, or your prayer, yeah, your prayer language, where you're speaking in tongues if you will, um, and you're praying, but that is not to be deciphered. It's actually en encoded, like an encoded message to God. It's it's your, like we pray, we pray to God, right? And a lot of people are like, well, why do you need that? Okay, well, whenever you speak audibly, when you speak out, then the entire spiritual realm hears your voice. They hear what you have to say. If you say, I'm going to go to the doctor today, then everybody, God, the devil, everyone hears you saying, I'm going to the doctor today. And if you're like, okay, this is troubling me. I really need an answer, Lord, you know, about whatever. And you, you want to talk to the Lord, but you know, you really would rather talk in private rather than have the whole spiritual world hear you, you know? Um, and maybe you're praying for something that, how do I say this? You're, you're praying for something Let's say you're praying that whenever you go to the doctor's office that you have a specific doctor, but God has intended for you to have a different doctor. So let's say that when you pray in the spirit, that your spirit man prays what God's will is for you rather than what your will is for you. That's my understanding. So if I say, okay, Lord, let me have Dr. Smith, and God's like, no, you need Dr. Franklin. So if I'm out, please, Lord, Dr. Smith, Dr. Smith, well, then the Holy Spirit on your behalf can pray Dr. Franklin, Dr. Frank, Dr. Franklin. I hope you're getting this. And then also it is whatever we want to speak out into the the physical, if you will, when we talk, and I told you that the other realm, the, the enemy can hear you as well. Well, you don't always want the enemy knowing what's on your heart and what plans you have for you. So it is a good idea to pray in your mind and think the think thoughts and pray to the Lord. And then whenever we want to speak out, pray in code, which would be in the spirit. And that is, that is for personal edification. That's it's just to build up your relationship with the Lord, your prayer language with the Lord. And it's not something that you generally would, um, you're not going to stand up in church and share that. Now, the reason this channel exists is because about seven years prior to this channel existing, I was wanting to speak in tongues. We were going through a hardship in our life, and I'm going to, I'll tell you my testimonies in a completely different video, so please stand by for that. But this particular hardship left me crying out to the Lord for some evidence. I wanted to know that the Lord existed. And I had known that my entire life. I grew up knowing Jesus Christ is my Lord. Like I, I grew up with that. So it's kind of like growing up knowing that the sky is blue, but we were in such a hardship and going through such a rough time in our life. I just wanted the Lord to speak out. I wanted to have a connection. I wanted something. And I had learned about praying in the spirit or speaking in tongues, that different language. And I knew that it was heavenly language. And I, I was on fire with desire for that language. I just, I wanted it more than life. Like if God struck me down just so that I could have that prayer language, I would have been like, okay. <laughs> I mean, just, it was that intense. And, it, but it took about seven years, I think, for me to realize that it's really a matter of belief. Just like by salvation, if you believe Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, died and rose again, and you accept him to be 
be your Lord and Savior, then you've received salvation. I mean, but you're receiving that on faith, going, oh, okay, this is what he did, this is what I believe, yeah, I accept that, and they are. So that's your faith. And same thing with the prayer and the Holy Spirit. Whenever you ask to receive the Holy Spirit, then once you've asked, the answer is yes. God's like, yeah, that's good. So then it's the matter of just um, speaking out and talking. Now, all I can say, I know many people that have. They say, yes, I believe. Yes, I have received. And then when they open their mouth to speak, nothing has come out. And I don't know the answer to that. You know, just wait on the Lord because that's what I did. I just waited on the Lord. And it's not by my might, but by his might that whenever I opened my mouth and I spoke, that the words came out. And I had many people tell me that um, uh, whenever they pray, that they're praying in the Spirit. Oh, I, I kind of got off track there, but I wanted to say that the reason this video exists is because I actually began praying in the Spirit, and then I was curious. I had never heard anyone speak the way that I spoke. I had heard different people speak um, almost like, um, uh, uh, like, like just a few words, maybe a repetitive few words over and over and over again in their prayer. I had heard people um, kind of like rasha sha ta 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 ta, rasha ta ta ta, like like that. Just it was interesting. I just never heard the way that mine is. It almost sounds like it's it's always changing, like every moment always changing, and it's super fast. I don't even talk like that. I don't talk this fast. But the prayer language was just like. I didn't, and I was afraid to stop. I was afraid to stop because I didn't want it to stop. I was so excited I had it, but uh, okay. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just excited. Okay, so I started praying in it, and then um, I'm like, okay, Lord, I just, what do I do? You know, I'm so excited about this. And when I, I was talking in my last video that whenever I feel like the Lord's talking to me, it's kind of like an impression. Like he, he keeps putting something on my heart. Like I'll lose sleep. Like, okay, well, you should share this. Other people are looking for the same um they have the same curiosities that you do. So I went on, I had gone on the internet looking for other people praying in the spirit. I was looking at different studies and I had a couple of different um, videos pop up, but there wasn't a lot of other people praying. And so I'm like, well, I wanna share that. And, but I didn't, I didn't do it right away. I just, I was trying to, I don't know, see if God wanted me to do it or something. I just know that it just kept popping up. Like, you should share that. You really should share that. Other people are probably looking for that. And it, those those ideas and the impressions that just kept popping up on me, that's how the Lord speaks to me. That That's how I've learned that the Lord speaks to me. So he basically led me to put this on the internet and or put that first initial video, Praying in the Spirit, on the internet. So the only video I had posted online is the only thing that I had on my channel. It was just one video and it just grew and I was like thank you Lord that is so cool and I was afraid to touch the channel because I felt like the Lord ordained that and just to leave it alone and so I prayed in the spirit I left it alone and then I went back and I looked and there was all these comments of people saying oh my gosh you know this is so cool and God's so good and you know now I'm speaking in tongues I'm praying in the spirit and you know, we were just praying about something and the Lord led us to your video and another one, you know, the Lord led us to your video and I started speaking in tongues because of the video and I, I was wanting to know more about this and I found it and it was just like God was bringing people to the channel left and right and that was just so exciting. And so well, I have a lot of people that are sharing with me as well saying, hey, girl, you're not supposed to be talking up, you don't speak, you don't share, where's the interpretation? Well, that's not what this is. This is my prayer language. I'm sharing with you something that's very personal between me and the Lord because I was curious about other people's prayer language and I am so thankful that I listened to the Lord and posted this because there's so much ministry going on he's just using it as a vessel and I'm so humbled by that I'm so appreciative of him to do that but I can see people praying for each other and sharing knowledge and all that stuff now I do understand that many of us mean well but whenever we're posting on there um and sharing, like uh, people are sharing, I think there's some misunderstandings going on. There is speaking in tongues where you speak in that heavenly language and other people hear it in their own language. 
So, for example, if I spoke to a group of people in the prayer language, then perhaps they would all hear it in their own language. It would be interpreted in their mind that way. Um, I know someone that had pastors a church that way. It was just really cool. That's a whole other thing. But then whenever it comes to um, uh, the prayer language and interpretation, some people are gifted with interpretation. They can her interpret the prayer language and that's another gift in itself but that's not what I'm sharing what I'm sharing is my own personal experience my own personal prayer language this is between me and the Lord and it's for my edification with the Lord there's also it also says that it is a sign to unbelievers and I know that it can look confusing to some people and if you look at it and you're like oh my gosh this is crazy she's like out of her mind she's making it up okay I appreciate you and your um, your uh, view, your personal view of this, but to some people, they see it and they're like, yes, I can connect with that and I want that. And then they ask the Lord for it and they, they pray to receive the Holy Spirit and they do begin speaking in tongues or praying in the Spirit the same way and it's a blessing or they become saved. And this is, this is not something that I'm doing my own physical self as far as like making it up. I'm not doing that. This is something that the Lord gave to me. This is something that the Lord's blessed me with. This is something that um, He's asked me to do as far as sharing it on this channel. So if you, if people are telling me, because people are saying, okay, you shouldn't be doing this. Well, God told me to. So um, I, I just give it to Him. And if I'm wrong, the Lord will deal with me and He will convict my heart. But He's asked me to do it and I'm doing it out of obedience. Please understand that I'm not trying to do anything wrong. I love the Lord with all my heart. And He is my Abba, my King, my Yeshua, my Yahweh, everything, Messiah, all those names. He is it. And I don't want to disappoint Him. So I'm doing what I feel is right. And um, so please, please appreciate that. And be gentle with your comments because I know, I know you guys are pretty opinionated. <laughs> Everybody has their own opinion. All right. Well, um, I just want to encourage you guys that the praying in the spirit and the speaking in tongues is a little different. Uh, I don't know what to call it, though. And whenever I speak, then it is quick. So I did want to pray. I actually wanted to start out this video with praying in the spirit because that's what I do. But I'm going to leave that for the next video. Um, if you would, please give me a comment to let me know if you have the gift of like speaking in tongues where other people can understand it and they hear it in their own language if you do pray in the spirit and you're um you're you just have your prayer language which is really personal between you and the lord if you what experiences you've had with it because i think it's so cool and i really think that we all need to connect that way because faith is built up by sharing these testimonies you guys it makes us all just that much stronger in our walk so i just appreciate y'all in, in the, what you've shared so far and i ask that you continue to do so um and i'm gonna i'm gonna shorten this video right now and then i'll make another one thanks so much you guys have a blessed day